All right, listen, I've been a little unfair to this game. I've been a little, just a, just a teensy time, just a little baby, 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 bit. I've been a little unfair to Infinite Warfare. The zombies mode was not all that bad. And I'm definitely not saying that because we're finally, finally watching the world record speed run for one of the maps I actually like. Attack of the Radioactive Thing, all cards, world record. This is actually one of the fastest world records that I think has ever been posted on Infinite Warfare at 16 minutes and 40 seconds. I literally, I, I'm scared to even start the video because literally as soon as I start it, we're gonna hit you with the Rage Shadow Legends ad. There is only one thing and one thing only I'm about to say to you right now. Look me right in the eyes. Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, the greatest game of all time. Now, after I talk about this, you're going to want to download the game from the link in the description. Now, the reason we're talking about Raid Shadow Legends today is Hydra is coming, the biggest and craziest boss that has ever existed in Raid. It has six different heads, each with its own unique boss battle. They've got the Head of Suffering, which literally is created to make you suffer. Whenever you deal damage to the head, it damages you back. The Head of Blight is an absolutely insane one. It leaves an entire cloud of poison on the entire battlefield. Everyone's poisoned the entire fight. And the Head of Wrath is literally just an angry head. If you attack it 15 times, it times threes its attack value you and just will decimate your team. Now, what I love about Raid is actually the combat, the way that everything is animated, and then the characters themselves are so in-depth, so detailed, they are absolutely chef's kiss, beautiful to look at. So what's new in Raid? If one of the biggest and baddest bosses in the entirety of mobile games isn't enough for you, Raid is giving away a super limited edition champion to every single player in the game. Some of you might recognize him already as Esports Legend and Navi Superstore Simple. You can literally get him in the game between now and January 28th. He's a limited edition champ available free to both new and old players. Literally completely free. All you have to do is log in seven days between now and January 28th, and he is yours for free. On top of that, it's the holidays, so Raid's got a full schedule of festive activities, special events, tournaments, and even some new fusion events to help you add some of Raid's incredible festive champions to your collection. There is seriously, and I mean seriously, no better time to get started. Hit the link in the description or scan my QR code to get an epic champion Tayrell, 200k silver, one energy refill, and one XP boost, and one ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in-game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here whenever you get into the game. And as always, Raid has so much to offer. Check out the link in the description and download the game today. All right, here we go. Sometime in the 1950s, bro. I have such a good memory of this map. Literally famous last words, actual copium right there. <laughs> there is no shot. I remember half of the things in this map, but I feel like for whatever reason, I actually played this map a lot. I, why Why that was, I'm not really sure. You can tell he... What did, it, what, what, what just, what did he just... <laughs> oh, the insect repellent. That's right, the chemicals, man. The chemicals. Oh, wow. He's got the spawn kills freaking learned and figured out already. Oh, oh, and then he has the Hellstorm variant, which it, it like combines all the bullets into one. And it, it's like not a... Oh, oh, oh. Pause. Kind of cool. Oh, no, no, wait. Yeah, yeah. It, it's the variant where it, it like... It's really powerful bullets instead of uh, a bunch of random ones. It's, it's like the really powerful bullets instead of just being able to spray stuff. It's actually a really, really good weapon. Dude, honestly, okay, okay, hear me out, hear me out. I'm convinced that a lot of these, a lot of these games would have had a much, much better lifespan, a lot more fun if they were just not as like tedious to go to high rounds on. I, like literally, if you look at any of these maps, all of the guns, all of the weapons, all the equipment fall off after a certain point and the only viable strategies to get to high rounds are usually like traps for 90% of these. I, 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 I don't know why there, there's like this like, like, I, I don't know why there's like this this movement that people have of saying like, oh, zombies is too easy. Like, I want zombies to be hard. Like, it can be hard, but still, like, you can throw panzers at me. You can throw mud at me, stuff like that in Origins, but still have, like, viable strategies like alternate ammo types or a wonder weapon that does infinite damage, stuff like that. I, I It's always been my biggest pet peeve with zombies is that they don't do this. Also, the, the black and white on this is is always is always funny how long the black and white actually stays for. <laughs> oh, what is he gonna do here? Okay, he grabbed a part. Okay, yeah, I immediately regret saying that I knew anything that was going on at all. Oh no! Oh, he picked up a blueprint. Okay, so he was crafting that blueprint for. Oh, adding a part. So now he only needs one more thing. Oh, he did this all in the middle of the round too. Seismic wave generator. Ah, yes. Yes, for sure. Oh, and then the punch card. I remember that. I, I, I'm actually remembering some of these steps. Your team is rewarded for a cash accuracy for uh, for accuracy. A cash bonus for accuracy. Interesting. So he's he's going with this fate and fortune card rather than... Um, oh, that's not accuracy, brother. That's missing. 
Also, is this a modded controller or something like that? Firing the starting pistol that fast? I'm con I'm convinced that was a... Oh, double money as well? That's probably necessary in order to do this. Oh, he's actually... He's actually farming right now. And a max ammo at the end. And the nuke. Wow. Okay. He just got... Went from like less than a thousand to over 11k instantly. That was actually really, really impressive. Also, I love the movement tech in this. I feel like I feel like we usually don't watch very much. Uh, oh, grabbing more parts. He's getting the code right there. Don't, don't remember what that code's for. He got the machete. Oh, dude, they, literally these maps are just collect-a-thons, man. But for some reason, I like Attack of the Radioactive thing. It's a collect-a-thon just like all these other maps. But, I, dude, how many guns is this guy going to buy? Holy crap. Oh, and I haven't even shouted him out yet. Yo, Minobot, if you made it this far in the video, you are legally obligated to go subscribe to Minobot right now. His link will be down below in the description. He is an absolute beast in getting this time. Uh, let's see, what, what did he actually say? Uh, solid run. I didn't get this 20 second boss fight skip. I've been grinding for some time to get such a fast run. I didn't want to risk it. A low 16 as possible. Ooh. So he, he hasn't got it yet. Oh, and then escape route, aka anywhere but here. What in the What is this gun? Wait. <laughs> Wait, was this some pay to win BS that I just didn't see? Like what? Lights, camera, and well, I'd say the, well, what is this gun? Okay, he got Elvira's book. Like what it's literally locking uh, is this a fate and fortune card? I'm so freaking confused right now. <laughs> as to what i'm looking at all right he still has 10 grand i'm surprised he's still cycling the rounds here because it seems like he should have enough points to do everything he wants to do I, I do i do know that in this game you actually do want to buy like jug and stuff like that oh he's nading something i, I know this allow player to dodge is a big speed run strategy that just uh, like is incredibly useful for getting around the map quickly Okay, give the book to Elvira. He's writing down the codes and stuff here. <laughs> Just double checking Elvira. <laughs> Just making sure she's okay, you know? Uh, getting more codes. Bro, I'm always so impressed by the speed. The speed at which they can write everything down and get everything they need. Another part. I don't remember what this part is actually for. And he's winding up some zombies here. Oh yeah, isn't there like a, not, not a soul box, but there's something you need zombies for. I can't, oh, I can't remember what it is, man. Oh, that, that, that's what it, he needs, the green glowing zombies. And I think you have to hatch at them in order to like collect the goo from them and fill up that vial. I remember something, I, I think that was the first step of the Easter egg. Yeah, yeah, see, see the vial is like being filled up. He needs like one more. I think that should be good, right? I got, my guy knows the exact amount that he needs. Give the filled vial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Change it to red. Change it to green. <laughs> Dude, Elvira is out of pocket on this map. Truly, truly just out of pocket on this map. Okay. Elvira did something. Dude, it, there's so much stuff going on. Th these are the funny things when you look back and you look at these Easter eggs and how long the YouTube guides were for these maps compared to like Cold War. Like Cold War, they're like six minutes if you cover everything. Uh, and and yeah, you gotta you gotta melee and stop those in a certain thing. I don't remember what the green filter is actually for. Do I have a spreadsheet for this? Hold on. I I, I feel like I ask this literally every single time, but let, let let's check it out here. Do I have a spreadsheet for this? Attack of the radioactive thing. Alpha. I have alpha omega, but no attack of the radioactive thing. Sad. <laughs> so sad <laughs> that I somehow don't have to. Oh god, I forgot about the boss of this map. Dude, he's only six minutes in. That's the most wild part about that. He's only six minutes in, and I feel like he's done so much. Getting the zombie hand. Oh, yeah, you have to, like, recreate the zombie parts. I remember that. Dude, there's so much in this map, and it's like... It, it, I wonder how long it would take if you... Uh, I wonder how long it would take if you did literally, like, a super Easter egg on this map, aka you had to do every single thing possible. Oh, my God. This is why these Easter egg hunts took so long man for real like actually for real for real activate the deep freezer oh yeah you need the torso from there was he, was he just 
double checking that code? I thought he already got that one. Maybe it, maybe it possibly changes. I don't remember. Honestly, I, they, he could literally just start like this. This could actually be a troll, and all of these couldn't be real steps to the Easter egg, and I actually wouldn't know at this point. Okay. Teleports. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> can we just can we just rewatch this sequence again? Just just right here. Let, let, let's just let's just rewatch this sequence real quick, right? So he builds the bridge. He teleports to another area. He boosts up. He teleports to another area, which is Pack a Punch. He buys this, teleports back to this area, grabs the head. Very cool. Very, 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 very good. I, I'm glad. I'm glad we did this. Yes. He needs to grab another zombie part. How many effing dude? This literally the entirety of the Cold War zombies Easter eggs are just like as complex as collecting all the body parts, and then you don't even have to do the chemistry and stuff like that. We haven't even gotten to the chemistry yet. The, ki uh, the chemistry, though, that, that is an Easter egg step that I'll always cherish in my heart because that is the step that everyone else was just going for, for guess and check. They, they didn't really care what was going on. They, they, they didn't really care wh which one was good. Oh, my God. He's, he's actually a madman. Doing this in the middle of the round? Wow. I, 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 that was always the most annoying thing ever to do solo, and he only messed it up once. That's really impressive. Oh, he's doing it in the bottom left. <laughs> Look how small it is over there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. See, yeah, this is the one right here. Get all of that to get a key. All of that to get a key. Jeez, man. What what are we what are we even doing over here? Avira, calm down. Calm down. There we go. He did some uh, did some math there or whatever. <laughs> some chemistry. Yeah, but I, like I was saying, the chemistry step was the one step that I actually figured out myself for real. Oh yeah, that's the bomb code. I remember, dude. That that was such a the bomb code is such a troll ending to this Easter egg. It's great actually. Uh huh. So he has the chemistry table set up. He already he already knows exactly what he needs to do here from uh, previous things that he's looked at in the map. Yeah, this was the step. Everyone else was just going for guess and check, like, you know, f doing it however however they could. And I was the one who, I, I actually figured this step out and I will never be more proud of the day that that happened. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it felt so good <laughs> to do this. I did like the fast travel system. This map is just a good. Also, has he been doing this entire thing on green? I think, it, is it kind of sad that I just realized that? Also, I just realized that Nade was to skip the perk drinking animation or the candy eating animation, you know what I mean? There you go, he's got the drain opener. God, this Easter egg, man. <laughs> just wild, it's just wild. This is the kind of Easter egg that can take three hours if you don't know what you're doing. But if you know what you're doing. The, the, oh yeah, the fatal. And then you have to, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Start reaction. Doing uh, Jesse, we gotta cook. We gotta cook, Jesse. Yeah, I just realized he still has the green filter on and he's never turned it off because he just needed it for an earlier step, and, and that's a waste of time to go do that. The oh yeah, the phenosophonic acid. <laughs> Jeez, man. Uh-huh. Yep, and then that's th that's the one that he needs. Oh god. Oh my god. That was scary. That was actually scary. Yeah, you you buy that tough enough. See, look at the points. The points are so tight. He only has three hundred forty-one dollars to spare here. Okay. Oh yeah, and then the, the nuke. Yep. And then this is and he's already in boss fight, right? Yes, it's literally already boss fight. Oh my god. Man, it really is. When you first see these these maps, it's wild. When you first see these maps and how long it takes to complete them, it's always wild to see what it what it ends up being. Also, he hasn't he doesn't have any pack a bunch guns at all. He literally went to pack a bunch and didn't pack a bunch of guns. It's definitely his guns are definitely weaker. The boss fights, I, I believe the way the boss fights worked in this game and the way they should work in every game is the boss fight has like a set difficulty. It's not based on what round you're on you're on. Again, I don't know what this auto aim gun BS is, but I, I love that for him. 
Absolutely love that for him. <laughs> Squeaky wheel. <laughs> the UDM. Man. Oh, what is this? Explosive touch. Oh, okay. So he literally, he doesn't have to do anything because the zombies just die whenever they touch him. Yeah. It's literally, literally, this is just like God mode for 60 seconds. He's just trying to shoot the gr Oh, the green ones have the little, the bad guys that spawn. Insta kill. Everything is going so right right now. I don't think it actually matters. He's fine. His explosive touch on. <laughs> Shut up, Willard. <laughs> who names? Who, who, who gets names Willard Wilder anyway? Kind of an L. All right. So here we go. Big radioactive thing about to attack. I wonder what the boss. So apparently there's a 20 second boss fight skip that he does not do in this run that exists. And I, I'd be interested to see what that is. I think he probably knew he was on world record pace at this point because you, you know, it's a set cutscene thing. You know how fast it's going to go. So he literally just like, he, he, he just was like, okay, I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm going to literally just go for the safe route and not mess it up and get my world record. And then maybe, you know, eventually he'd go back and, uh, oh. <laughs> so funny. It just yeets it into him. Use the death ray cannon. I think little Willie's girlfriend is ready for it. Yeah, boop. Dude, this part is actually hard too. Like it, it, it's it's not super super easy to hit that hit that shot every time. It looks easy, but it's actually not. Especially if you're on controller. All right. Started the first process. And, oh, does he have to do the jumping? The jumping was always so annoying to do whenever it was uh, co-op because the game would always be lagging and everything like that. It was so, it was so tough. It was so tough. It was so rough. Oh, I missed one. Yeah, those got, and then they had the same noise as the, uh, what's it called? They had the same noise as the cryptids too. Yeah, that, those guys did not not want to die ever. Oh, this one. Yeah, I think he's on controller because those things don't have aim assist on him. It looked like aim assist was kind of like pulling, pulling it back, when, despite him trying to, you know, try, trying to shoot those out of the air. It looked like it was having trouble. Also, do, do, why is dodge just literally the most OP thing ever? You get to keep it forever until you refresh your cards and it insta kills zombies and you get to move fast. Like, there's literally no reason to never not use dodge. <laughs> See? <laughs> like, it's just, it's just buff. It's OP. Uh oh. Missed a few bullets there. Gonna have to deal with, gonna have to deal with some of these. Oh, got a nuke there. Goes for the nuke. Man, who would have who would have thought you could have done this Easter egg without without like having to worry? Oh yeah, is this the part? I think this is the part where you have to do the hey, guy, you only missed two. Little bit unfortunate. Just checking his bomb code again. That's the most evil thing ever, is that bomb code not being uh Oh, man up, regenerating health faster. So he regenerate, he's regenerating health faster than the goo is going to kill him. So that he can probably stand next to this and activate it right when it's a thing. Yeah. And then you get entered inside. Wow. Imagine the stress you have to feel to be on, to be on the, the actual ending. The actual ending and you have to hit that perfectly. Oh, so good. So I guess he doesn't, he didn't have to do the laser puzzle or he just skipped that because he had the mana up. Oh, that's probably what it was. He skipped it because he had the mana up. Bro, what a cool Anybody speed run, man. Shellfish for dinner? I'm pretty sure I'm never eating shellfish Oh God. Oh God. I think that, wait, this is, this is it. This is it, dude. Wait for it. Wait for it. Time period. Whatever you want to call it. Maybe off to somewhere with a little more color. Here, here it comes. Here it comes. So Little did we know. Oh, oh, oh. 
Pepe laugh they don't know. Oh no! Oh. Oh. If you guys thought the zombies were bad, what is it? Some kind of big shot? AJ! What? What did I say? To be continued. They didn't know! They didn't know the rhinos would be back. They didn't know the cryptids were gonna be back. They didn't know Mephistopheles was coming and it was Lee Ross the whole time. Man, what what a what an absolute, absolute banger of a run, man. So, so good. Make sure you all go down to the description. Subscribe to Menobot right now. He's an absolute legend. So much fun reacting to this. Hopefully, you guys had fun reacting to it, too. Watching me react. Anyway, we'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Bye-bye.